Hi Scorpio, how's it going? Welcome to my channel, Universal Intuition. My name is Jacqueline. Thank you all so much for being here. Today's video is going to be your mid-November general reading, again for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I love y'all so much and I really hope that y'all had a lovely, beautiful, wonderful birthday season. Happy birthday again to all of my beautiful fellow water babies, my Scorpios. Um, Let's see, Scorpio, as we always do, we'll be doing your love reading at the end of this. I do it as the extended, um, and the link for that is in the description box below. It's the first link. We use the crystal vision over there in the love readings, and what we really do if you're new here is we check in on the other person you're dealing with right now and get their perspective on the situation in regards to love, so how they're feeling about you right now, what are their true feelings, what are their long-term intentions for you in the connection, what are y'all going through and exper experiencing together mutual energy and then of course we look at where y'all's connection or relationship is headed in the future again that's the love reading in the description box um, also in the description box is my instagram if y'all want to come follow come say hello um, thank you always scorpio for your support likes shares scribes uh those of you that have been reaching out to donate i really am truly grateful so thank you thank you thank you all right, let's get into it, my loves. What's going on, Spirit? What is the current energy, current situation for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? I always say Scorpio are my cool kids, and I'm hearing it again. Cool kids. Okay, this just randomly fell out for someone. Ten of Pentacles, Ace of Swords, Six of Wands. Someone's having a successful, ooh, and Lover's card. Whoa, Scorpio. Someone's having... Someone's getting a second chance on some type of investment home situation that will be successful. That's for someone. Anyways. So this is your current energy for Scorpio, mid-November 2019. Thank you, Spirit. And then, Spirit, what's the most important message that Scorpio needs to know at this time for mid-November? heard someone say I don't want to I don't want to like in a work situation I don't I don't want to you're not really you're someone's not passionate about something in their work all right let's see what that's about all right three more shuffles spirit this is for Scorpio Sun Moon Rising and Venus mid-November 2019 what's the most important thing Scorpio needs to know Page of Wands. All right, very cool. So some of y'all could be dealing with a younger fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and Three of Cups. Beautiful. I feel like for a lot of you, there's like a, I'm hearing friend in town, someone's in town. Y'all are having a bit of a reunion. We are upon holiday season, so you will start to see a uh, reunion type of cards celebrating. Um, some of you are just very, very excited about a new person, a new adventure, um, a new project. Something that is really... Um, you look up to it. You look up to this person. You look up to the situation. It's maybe a promotion for some of you. I want to put my energy into that. Um, you have a lot of passion towards the situation. Very, very beautiful. All right, let's look at your current energy, Scorpio. So I feel like a lot of you are going to have something to celebrate very, very, very soon. Ooh, yes. Scorpio, you'll have the Empress popping out as your current overall energy for mid-November. Gorgeous energy. Sorry, it's like really bright. <clears throat> little bit of a glare hope y'all can see the empress is gorgeous is beautiful energy she's gorgeous um i'm definitely feeling i'm hearing i know this sounds cheesy because that's the movie but i'm li literally hearing a star is born some of y'all are gonna get recognized for something maybe in the workplace maybe for some type of hard work you're gonna be um, like written about or people are going to notice you for something that you did that's really really successful some of you could be just very um, in the energy of, of maybe knowing finding out you're pregnant or maybe wanting to start a family empress energy is so gorgeous y'all Scorpio this is very beautiful whether you're male or female watching this is really you tapping into that divine feminine some of you could be seeing a lot of threes right now with the empress energy 
Ooh, and the four of wands behind that. Yeah, some of you are definitely in a very beautiful union with a soulmate possible twin flame here. And you're looking at the future, like what else can we create? What can I create with this person? We know, can we build a family? You know, what does our home life look like? Um, you're just feeling very, very creative, not only within yourself, which is great, but I do feel within your partnerships and relationships as well. Beautiful energy, Scorpio, gorgeous. have the ace of wands and the ten of cups in reverse ten of cups is still in the reverse a gorgeous energy i feel like this is what's to come you have some type of new inspiration again with the fire energy i feel like scorpio there's either a new creative project a passion something that you really really like or it's a person that just gives you like i'm hearing uh the elvis song the burning love song y'all know what i'm saying i can't sing it right now but it's like that that vibe of like, oh, I have that burning love, burning sensation in, in regards to like, you just have like all the feels and all the passion for someone. I love actually the 10 of cups in reverse here because this is you working on, um, I feel like you've really been working on your emotional self and getting that all collected and together, which is why you're truly coming in as the empress because it truly is a collection and almost, I don't want to say mastery, but it's a, you really know how to embody the mental, the physical, the emotional self, all of you, you have all the elements together, right? And you in your happy self, I almost see this as like a giant, like smiley face smiling at you with all the rainbows, sunshine, nine of cups energy is very beautiful where you've worked very hard on yourself to be happy, whether you're in your dream job or not, whether you're with your dream person or not, whether you're you know what I mean? Whether No matter what life throws at you, Scorpio, you've really, really learned how to keep your emotional self very, very happy. And I do feel like this Ten of Cups is turning around very, very soon. Some of you could be coming into a union um, and having something new coming in in regards to an opportunity. Look at that page of wands behind that as well. It's like, I feel like I'm hearing I'm a kid again. I feel like a kid, a kid again. I feel alive. Something really has you very, very like interested like you can't wait to do something beautiful all right spirit what else is coming towards scorpio for mid-november yeah for some of you king of pentacles this could be male or female virgo taurus capricorn energy some of you could be getting a promotion for sure at work um, and going towards that goal Ooh, we have the tower there let's keep going with this story spirit tell me more about this king of pentacles for scorpio we have the king of swords now in the reverse gemini libra aquarius energy male or female uh rushing in there so i feel like wow i almost i'm almost feeling like for some of you um as you're rising up this could be a promotion you getting some good news in regards to a home a job a promotion um or this is someone giving you um i'm feeling uh like a bank or like a uh the bank like a loan um, or like mom and dad helping or like a parent or someone in the family like really really helping out with something and being there for nurturing and support on a bigger scale for something you really want like a home a car a job like something that's really big that you want and you're right there about to get it and I feel like with this king of swords oh yeah for some of you there's an air sign Gemini Libra Aquarius that is giving you some really harsh communication and for some of you, they're completely cutting you off, but it's coming, it's coming in very, very quickly. And then we have the, and then we have your card under this as well. So there is some type of transformation happening. It doesn't have to be an air sign. It doesn't have to be a male, um, but there is some type of <sighs> communication issues. Like someone's talking either not very positively towards you and it's very hurtful and they're just saying it like very, um, they're, they just come in, say what they want, and then they leave. They come in, they say what they want, and then they leave. It's like a very quick in and out type of energy with this person. Or for some of you, if that's not resonating, I do just feel like all of a sudden this person just cut me off. Like what the, what the heck did I do um, type of vibe. So let's keep going with that and see what's going on here. Because the King of Pentacles is giving me very good nurturing. Like this could be family, home, parent, boss. First, please remember these are general readings and take it how it resonates. It could be 
work for you, whatever's going on with you, relationship, personal stuff. Um, so please keep that in mind that this is a general reading. But let's keep going, Spirit. What else is going on? All right, we have the Lover's card showing up in the reverse now. Okay, Gemini, Libra, uh, I'm sorry, card of Gemini. I was going to say that's where we had this over here. I feel like for some of you, maybe you and your partner, your love, or someone that you were... I heard were, so maybe this is someone from the past. Yeah, Ace of Swords in reverse. There is some type of... Okay, this could literally just be for one person. I feel like there could be someone that found out they're pregnant and they're like going back home. Um, or they're getting like, uh, I'm hearing rescued or saved by their family or something like that. And the person that they were dealing with has like y'all separated or something like that. That's, that's a very, for a very small group or maybe just one person. If that's the case, I'm really, really sorry. Um, let's keep going with this story spirit. Why is the lover's card in reverse? Okay, we have the three of cups. And the star card, some of y'all could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We also have now Aquarius on the table. Lots of air energy here, okay? So I feel like y'all are very much um, in that mental energy right now, trying to figure things out, what's going on. Um, I feel like there is a new spark um, with the Ace of Wands and the Three of Cups. I feel, again, like um, there's something to celebrate, a reunion of some sorts. I feel like for some of you, there's like an earth sign like in town or coming back around. Um, something about the past with this is coming in for some reason. And while you're going out and hanging out with this friend, or this family member, or this person having somewhat of a reunion, could be an Aquarius. Um, or it could just be someone that you've been dealing with for a long time, a friend, a family member, someone who's a, a, who has that soulmate energy. It's like your current partner or friend or whoever this is right now. I don't feel y'all are breaking up. I just feel like there's some not good communication or something. I feel like it's like your partner um, in regards to your maybe romantic relationship or maybe someone who you live with or even like... Um, you could be, this could be a business partner for some of you, and this could also be like a very close friendship. Okay, please take it how, how it resonates. It's like almost like that person is like, well, you've been hanging out with me so much, and um, now this other person's in town, you know, for the holidays or for your birthday, or you know what I mean? Like someone's in town or someone's around or there's something else. There's another energy. It could be a new job you're trying to go get, or there's something else, Scorpio, that's on your mind you're trying to attain that's definitely destined for you. This person or this situation is definitely destined to be in your life. Um, but your person, like your, your friend, your lover, your partner, whoever this person is, they're just like... Ugh. They're just a little upset about it. Um, I think they're a little bit jealous of how much time, effort, and energy you're putting in towards this other person. Uh, I definitely don't feel any kind of cheating. Oh, yeah. I, I forgot to show up in the Six of Cups was at the bottom of the deck. I feel like it's an old friend back in town. Um... <clears throat> Or you're being reconnected with like an old group, either someone's visiting or you're visiting, something like that. And then your partner or friend or someone is just like, I see them like this. Ugh. I literally just saw someone was like, <laughs> all right, let's keep going with this spirit. What else do we have for Scorpio, sun, moon, rising and Venus? Spirit, what else do we have for Scorpio? We have the Knight of Cups in reverse and then the Four of Cups. Yeah, I definitely want to say whoever this King of Pentacles is for y'all, if, if you're like a cross watcher, um, your partner is definitely not interested in them romantically. There are no offers of love or proposals coming in uh, on either side. So if you're a cross watcher wondering about that, I really don't feel that vibe at all. I really just feel like Scorpio in particular that you have been experiencing a, a little bit of a stag, stagnant energy and... Uh, and I don't want to say bored with your partner or bored in your situation, but you kind of do want to spice things up. And I feel like by you, by you adding on a creative project or maybe talking to a new friend or, you know, adding else something that makes you uh, feel good and have fun, um, which is totally great and cool. It's, it's some type of new beginning for you that you're very passionate and excited about. There's someone just in your energy that's just like, like they're not having it. <laughs> 
you're not having it. Um, but you know what? This this is going to be something that's very, very good. I'm hearing healthy for you and very optimistic. Uh, bottom of the deck, we have the three of wands. So Scorpio, you're definitely waiting on your ships to come in. You're very excited about this new job, this new person, whatever that is. And you're trying to maintain it all. You're trying to maintain uh, your beautiful, gorgeous um, earth energy. And you know what I mean? It's almost like... It's almost like for some of you, you know, the Empress, yes, she's pregnant and she, she's the mother. She's the grandmother, right? She's that divine feminine. She births, right? Um, she's the cup, the womb, and, and she, she gives life, right? And I feel in essence here, sure, that could absolutely be for some of you. But I feel also it's just like you're ready to create something big. You're ready to create um, some new connections, some new people into your life so that you do feel a little bit more because we have the, the, the Ten of Cups here like this. And we want to see you a little bit more in this energy, right? Where we are feeling good with not only ourselves, but our friends, our family, our partnerships, our connections, and our work, life, career, all the things, right? Emotional fulfillment. And I feel like you're definitely super close. And for a lot of you, you're already feeling that vibe. Because again, Empress is very strong, very, very strong energy. So I feel like almost for some of you, Scorpio, almost like the advice here, I'm just feeling intuitively the advice for whoever maybe is feeling a little bit hurt or down, or maybe just feeling like you're not giving them enough attention because you're excited about something else that you're putting your effort and energy to, that maybe just come from that beautiful, sweet, um, intuitive, psychic, beautiful energy that you naturally have, Scorpio, and just be like, hey, love, listen, I know that I'm very excited and looking forward and putting an eight of pentacles behind that. I'm putting a lot of effort and energy into this new thing, but guess what's even under there too? Two of cups, but I still love you. I'm still with you. We're still soulmates, like don't worry. You know what I mean? So I feel like there's just need to have that like reassuring maybe conversation with someone um, you know, could be, again, partner, lover, could be a, um, a parent for some of you or a friend, roommate, someone who's like in your energy all the time, okay? They're just feeling a little bit, um, I heard neglected, but not they're not being neglected. I feel like you, you're just putting so much effort and energy into something, but Scorpio, it's because you feel it. You feel like whatever this is, this new connection, this new job, this new passion project, you know, whatever really is just like getting your, your, mojo going over here you know that it's 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 aligned for you you know it's a part of your bigger plan so definitely go for it okay i feel like it's really going to help help you come out of this like emotionally bored or stagnant time that you've just been a little bit you've just been a little bit like ah, ah, lately and and we've also just come out of excuse me, we just are coming out of today Mercury retrogrades. I really, really feel like that's going to help a lot of you just kind of, okay, I'm going to like get back to it, get back into my grind, um, start going towards, you know, this new thing that's coming in, um, that I'm very excited about. So wow, Scorpio. So yeah, just basically everything looks really good for you. Whatever you've been wanting for, if it's a new job, um, for some of you could be again, some type of gift or you're being given or or protected. I feel like just it's like a very nurturing, motherly, fatherly, or almost grandparent vibe um, of like a gift. They're giving you something, and you're gonna take it and run with it and be very excited. But there's someone on the sidelines that's just like, don't forget about me, Scorpio. <laughs> so just keep that in mind. Beautiful reading. I hope that y'all enjoyed it. We're definitely gonna get into the love reading and see what's going on with your other person in love. So if you're interested, that one is in the description box below. Scorpio, if this is where we part, I love y'all so much. Again, thank you always for all of your likes, shares, subscribes, donations, all those beautiful things. I'll see y'all in December.